You know, it's interesting that acting is one of the very few professions that people think they don't need training. I mean, if you went to a doctor who was going to operate on you, you would hope that he had some kind of training. The kind of money that we spend on sets, thousands and thousands of dollars a minute, these people have to know what they're doing. They've got to know how to hit their marks. They've got to know how to do their character. They've got to know how to match shots from one shot to the other. So much technical stuff to know. And unfortunately, what happens is they take all these theater classes, which is great. I love theater. But unfortunately, that's a totally different art form than what we're doing on set. So the training is like, like any profession. You wouldn't want to get on an airplane with an airline pilot that had never had flying lessons. Uh, you would never want to go to a doctor who had never operated before. But for some reason in acting, everybody thinks, oh, well, I just walk around and I talk and the camera shoots it like I do. I, I, act, I act every day. I hear that all the time. I act every day. Well, that's great. Maybe you can act down at the unemployment office because that's probably the only acting you're going to get if you don't get training and know what you're doing. Because your chance is only going to come probably one or two times. You'll get a big opportunity. Don't blow those opportunities. Showcases are extremely important because to get in front of a director is almost impossible. To get even in front of an agent, agents are very careful on who they see. They have so many actors already they can't get work for. It's like, why do they want to take on another talent? So someone has to really catch their eye. And the way you do that is you do showcases. And the agents come to the showcases. Most of the people that I know that have agents that are actors got their, started, their start by doing showcases and an agent was in the audience. I think they're wonderful. I think you should do showcases because you've got to be seen. I don't care how talented you are. If the people don't see how talented you are, it doesn't matter how talented you are. Uh, well, first of all, I've known you for, I can't even count how many years, uh, a long time. And the way I know when someone's legit or not legit is over time. I can't tell in a month or even a year. But my relationship with this studio was way before this studio was even here. So I like coming here because I'm very careful where I go and do a seminar. And the reason is this. I have four best-selling books out at Barnes & Nobles and other bookstores about the entertainment industry and who's legit and who's not legit. And I go on all, a lot of talk shows and uh, I'm kind of the resident person that talks about who's legit and who's not. So I have to be very careful where I go. So when I come here, I have no worries that something's going to go on at the studio that I don't like or that I don't think's legit. So that's why I like coming here. Plus, you get me great talent. Well, mine's different than almost probably any class has ever taken because I don't really necessarily teach how to act. I cover that. But I really teach how to go in and get a job. And being able to act is not good enough. You've got to know the questions to ask, what not to ask, how to conduct yourself in the interview. So although I cover the acting, my seminar is more about how to go in, give us a performance that I can edit, that I can cut, things that a director looks for. Because the person who's going to ultimately cast this show is going to be the director. You might have to read for the casting director and the agent and the producers and all these people, but the bottom line is when it gets down to the agent, I look at a performance and it's not just can they act, but are they giving me the shots in between the lines that I need to cut in the reaction shots and the opening shots and the closing shots of a line and editing wise are they giving me what I need so that I can go into an editing room and cut what they're doing. It doesn't matter how good they are. If it's uneditable, it will end up on the editing room floor. So my seminar is from a director's point of view, not from an agent's point of view, not from a casting director point of view, but always keep in mind the ca casting directors do not cast and they do not